Hello and welcome to the Shizen Hogoku Zoo here on Planet Zoo in our franchise mode. Welcome back. Today we are starting a little bit of a different project. We're not actually taking care of animals this time. It's been a while since we actually done other things with the Shizen Hogoku Zoo. But this time we're actually going to go ahead and do something with our monorail. So in the process of doing this, we actually ended up removing the path to our Bengal Tigers and removing that bridge there. And then what we're doing right now is we're just bringing up the land and really just settling out the path. So that's essentially what's going on right here. We're just getting it set up right there. So I did a little bit of work off camera. But if you are new to the channel, this is the Shizen Hogoku Zoo, obviously, like I said. But we're actually going to be doing a few different things right now. We're not doing any habitat speed builds. And we really want to get our monorail up and running at some point here shortly because we are starting to run out of animals to bring into this zoo and I want to complete the track at some point here. And this area really needs some help. This is toward the front of the park and it is very just under construction, very plain, and it doesn't look like a zoo. So we really need to fix that. So by doing that, we ended up fixing that bridge right there. It didn't really end up working for the spot anymore because that's where our Bengal tigers used to be and then we just kind of blocked it off. So I'm happy that we just turned it into regular land. But as you can see here, our monorail station does have a beautiful pathway set up already. So we're gonna be working with that and building a wonderful castle. Kind of took me a minute to figure out what I wanted to do, but I figured that the castle was a nice clean look for a building that we can make somewhat modern. So we actually end up using this brick that comes with the East Asia theme in the base game of Planet Zoo. And what we're gonna be doing is just setting it up to make it look very clean, like a nice castle, almost like the giant panda's habitat, but it has a little bit of a different spin on it. So while I actually go ahead and build the frame of this, and get the concept down. I just want to talk about like a few things about this zoo. First of all, the Tiger Temple needs a lot of work. And to be honest, I want to do a third renovation on the Tiger Temple because this one just isn't good. That Tiger Temple over there doesn't get any visitors inside and they all tend to just look from that little circular area uh, where they just kind of look over a few rocks. It's not good. And the other part that I want to go over is the Garial Habitat. So the gharial habitat, I think, is also an issue because it just doesn't have a good viewing area. A lot of guests don't go there, so I want to figure out how we can get our guests to the left side of the park. So if you're looking at the park from the entrance, looking inward, you want more guests to go to the left-hand side. And what we see is we see a lot of customers going over to the right-hand side, and we want to see if we can maybe change that scenario a little bit. I don't know how, but we need to try to figure something out. But nonetheless, we need to fix up the front of the park in some sort of way, shape, or form. And that's what we're doing here by actually getting a start on our wonderful monorail system. Now, a little bit different thing about the monorail system is that it was going to head out, going toward the front of the park. But it's actually going to go away from that side. The main reason why this is, is just because I had to delete the station, kind of move it a little bit and play around with it. So that's just how it kind of turned out. We can change this. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. I can kind of tweak it around without causing further issue. But let me know what you guys think. Should this monorail start going over to the pandas or should it start going toward the Bengal tiger side? Not like it really goes over any of the habitats, but it's just more the direction of travel. So I want to hear from you guys, let me know. But with this castle here, we want to kind of hide it in with some of, you know, like shrubs and some trees and stuff like that. And really just get it so it looks like a clean modern building, but yet it still feels like it's in a zoo. And it's not in like a planet coaster type feel, because we don't want to go back into that. Now with this building, we have a few options. We have a giant plot of land toward the entrance side of the park where we just have a plot of dirt. And what I'm thinking about doing is maybe at some point make this kind of like a small part two of the video. Maybe we can add our information booths over there. And with those information booths, we will actually be able to relieve the stress from the front of the park where that one little information booth is. So we'd be moving the kiosks around and I think that would really help out. 
But back to the building here. Now I said I wanted it to be a little bit modern. So when I said this, I want it to have more of like a clean look, not so much of, you know, this old rustic look or this old ruin look or anything like that. So nothing like a, you know, it's just some sort of ruins in the middle of the jungle or anything like that. This has to be somewhat modern because it has a monorail going through it. It has modern technology going straight through the building. It kind of has to display it with the building style. And with that, we have an open window toward the Bengal Tiger side. And with that open window, we actually give it a little bit more of that natural light vibe. So the natural light's coming in and however you want to take it out of context, I thought it was the right decision. We didn't want it just to be enclosed. We want it to be a little bit more free flowing. Now over here to the queue, we are building a custom queue this time. I haven't done a custom queue in a while because I haven't done it since Planet Coaster but this is actually the first transport ride I'm actually making in Planet Zoo, just because the projects do take a long time. However, we are building this nice wonderful staircase that goes up, but we do use a concrete floor, and what happens is that the path travels right underneath it, and you just won't notice it because it just looks very natural. So it's very clean, no little curbs or anything like that, and no sort of issues along that regard. Now one thing about this is, is that the tram line goes right over the queue. And this is a little bit of an issue. I saw this somewhere, someone had this idea of putting like a net. So if, you know, there's like rubble or like, I don't know, shards or someone drops a penny or something like that, it doesn't fall on the guests. So we actually end up using this fence from the New World theme. And we actually end up just kind of customizing it to our liking, just to make it seem like a little catcher. And what I may be doing is replicating this across the park just because if you ever go to like Walt Disney World or something like that, you will actually see like those like high voltage things and it kind of gives like a little border around the actual tram line. So therefore I thought this was just the right way to go. Plus it gives it a little bit of a better design to a certain extent. I feel like it actually brings out the modern vibe in this building. Now off to the lighting, we do have an indoor area for when people are exiting the ride. It goes through like this little tower thing that we have going. We end up putting in some regular basic Planet Zoo themed lights. And we end up doing the same with the lighting toward our custom queue. We just have the lights so it's easily available for people to look at the ground and not trip over things at night. So we have that going for the most part, but we also end up adding in some nice little lanterns right outside of the exit and entrance of the station and we end up also putting them in other areas outdoors where there's not as many simple lighting fixtures i guess that's the right way to put it now we are going to skip a forward here because we want a sign for this monorail and we're going to call it the sky tram now this font was actually taken off of the steam workshop i'm very bad with fonts but I found this awesome one. I think it was done by a person named Liz or a username by the name of Liz. And this is a Asian inspired like font texture, really just, I guess, maybe made up, but regardless, it just really fit into the aesthetic for this area. So we do have a little bit of a sign that welcomes people over to our sky tram, which is awesome. We haven't really used too much lettering in this game yet. So I think that was a good fit. But moving on to other things, we are gonna add in some foliage because this would be a perfect place to add in a lot of foliage. We really give it enough space and all that to where we can add in many different things like a bunch of bamboo, some little palm trees, and some nice trees that really do shade over the pathing, which is something that we've really been lacking on in these zoos, just in general in our franchise mode. So we're really getting into it to where the path has more natural shading which is what i want to see in our zoo especially since it is a zoo and it's not like a theme park or something like that now we do a little bit of touch up and that also includes adding some curbs to our path and adding in some mulch for our bedding along with just doing some basic little stuff and i think i'll also go back over to our little tram and we end up putting in like a little fence so people just can't kind of like run off and jump out of like one of the tram sides so we bring in the fence so the tram just barely clears that i just thought that was a little 
neat thing that we added in there. I don't know. I, I thought it looked right. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. But we don't actually finish off this area. And I hate to say that, and I know this is going to be somewhat of a shorter video, but I did it for a reason. And it's because we have a lot to renovate around this tram area. That involves the gharial habitat and that includes the Bengal tiger habitat. And I want to fix this. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. If you have suggestions, let me know. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we're not going to mess around too much with the paths and really just the general navigation of this area. So that means I put in some little curbs like toward the queue area along with just up against certain areas where I think I know I'm going to keep the path, but over toward like the gharials I didn't do anything with the paths. So we can change around the landscape and we can change around how the habitat is laid out and stuff like that. I feel like I need to do an indoor habitat with the gharials, which I haven't done an indoor habitat before where just the animals are just inside type thing where the people come just inside just to see the animals. I don't know the best way to put it, but essentially what I'm thinking of is like the Fort Worth Zoo in Texas. I, I've gone there before and I know they have their gharials, like you would have to walk inside to actually see them. I know, I think there's like one little like outside viewing area, but essentially it's set up so it's a little bit more free flowing and it's not so much just kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know the right way to put it, but essentially there's a lot of things that need to be fixed up. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to go over, so please consider subscribing to stay up to date on all your Planet Zoo stuff. And I would really appreciate it if you guys give this video a thumbs up. It would help support out a small YouTube channel like I am. And please, once again, leave any comments, suggestions, or concerns, anything like that in the comments down below. And I will review them, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.